Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm doing a reimagining of my chat, because uh, the last one was silly. So, uh, let's start off with uh, getting a chat system on the screen so that we can get uh, our client and server and other clients all chatting with each other over the network. So, I'm going to start off with creating a C Sharp script. I'm going to call it chat. Open it up. Doobly doop. Should open this beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's think about what a chat is. So, a chat is something that allows us to send strings over the network, uh, and those strings get uh, kind of, well, they get shown on the other side, so everybody gets to see these strings. And we got to keep a list of them, so we got everyone has to see the history of the chat. It doesn't, it doesn't just pop up and disappear, unless that's your thing. Uh, but if that's your thing, I'm sorry. What we're doing today is keeping a history of them and showing the history on the screen. So the easiest way to keep a history of a, of a bunch of strings is by using the generic namespace, so that we can use the lists, uh, of, so that we can create a list of strings. So I'm going to make a, I don't know, public list string uh, chat history equals new list of strings and everything tries to autocomplete for me but I usually type it myself and everything goes crazy now so some of the things that we're gonna need to do is we need to know what the current message is that the user is typing so as we type it in the UI we gotta keep track of it I'm gonna make a private String current message equals uh, string dot empty. So we have an empty string here. Uh, next thing is we got to show the UI on the screen to be able to to well see anything. So private void on UI. Now uh, we've got to be able to draw at least not so the few things that we get to draw is the history of the chat probably from top to bottom just a bunch of strings listed out the next thing that we want to be able to draw is uh, the box that we type in because we got to be able to type out our message so I'm going to do a GUI layout because they're nice if you don't know what they are I have uh, tutorials on them so go check them out in horizontal and I'm going to give it some generic width, GUI layout, dot width of uh, 250. Next, I'm going to create uh, the current message box where I type my stuff. So I'm going to say the current message is equal to GUI layout, dot, uh, layout dot text field. And inside there, I'm going to put in my current message. So I can type out my message. And I need some button to send the message. I need to be able to click a button, say send, and it sends it off. So I'm going to say if GUI layer dot button uh, send. Then we're going to do some stuff. Whoa. We're going to do some stuff here. We'll fill that out in a minute. And then we'll do a GUI layout dot end horizontal. And then we'll uh, do a simple... Oh, what's this? We'll do a simple listing of all of our strings. So for each, whoa, sorry about that. Resar Resharper goes crazy. I need to be able to disable it easily. Sometimes I don't even use it. Uh, we'll call it chat history. So for each message in the chat history, I actually like my first letter or my letter to be the first letter of the for each there. So <coughs> for each one, we're going to do a GUI label. Dot label and C Q. All right. Now, what we want to do in the in this case is that we have to be able to send the message over the network and everybody gets it. So, one of the things we don't want to send are empty strings. We don't want people to say send and then just send keep, keep sending the send button and it just sends blank. As that would be weird. So I'm going to say if not, the string is null or empty, and I'm going to actually trim trim the string as well. So current message dot trim. I'm going to make sure it's not blank. 
If it is not, I need to send it over the network and uh, clear out my message. So first I'm going to clear out my message. I, well, actually I'm second going to clear out my message. I'm just going to type this first. So what I need to do is network view dot RPC. So I'm going to send a remote procedure call that we've talked about before. And the function is going to be a chat message at message. I'm going to send it across all buffers because I'm not storing it right now. So if I if I was storing it in my own list, I probably would have, would want to send it all uh, over others buffered. Uh, but since I'm sending it to myself as well, I'm going to do all buffered. So RPC mode dot all buffered new object. Hey there. So new object current message. So I'm sending the current message. All right. So now what I want to do is make this chat message function. Let me close out some stuff that's going to make noise in my ear. Okay, so a chat message. I'm going to make that a public void chat message and it's going to take in a string message. All right. And this is going to be a remote procedure call, so RPC uh, as that attribute there. And we're just going to do a very simple chat history dot add message. So this UI is going to look ugly, but I'm going to go ahead and run it and watch what happens so that uh, we can we can see the process of putting it all together. So on my main camera, I'm going to drop my network menu so that I can get a basic network started up, and then I'm going to drop my chat, and I'm going to add a network view to it. Now this network view is going to be purely RPC, so it's going to be off on the synchronization state. So when I press play, over here you'll notice that my chat box is over all this other connected stuff. So what's the issue? The issue is that we're drawing stuff and we're not even connected to the server yet. So it would be nice if we could just, uh, if we could tell whether we're connected to the server or not uh, just from anywhere. So we don't need a reference to the network menu to tell if we're connected to the server. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to being a... Uh, a static, and we're going to do a static getter and set, or a static public getter and uh, private setter. So I'm going to actually convert this to be a public static bool connected get return, or not return, sorry, get private set. So that will allow us to get the connected boolean statically but set it privately. So I'm going to copy that connected and replace all my other connecteds because I'm a stickler and I make my get sets with a capital C or a capital letter and Pascal casing as it's called. So now that I've had that set I can go back to my chat and I could say only show on GUI if or only show the UI if I am connected. So I'm going to say if network menu dot connected actually I'm going to say um, if not network menu dot connected then return and if you don't know if you haven't seen this much basically the return just ends the function so that none of this gets called uh, yes so now that we have that done let's check out what it looks like when we press play Notice that it doesn't show up on the screen anymore, and I can click host. And now the text is a little is right on top of my connection zero. I'm gonna type in a message real quick. ASDF send. ASDF is there. Send. So you can see that we're listing out all of our chat stuff here. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of space at the top of that uh, UI so that it's not over my connected. So GUI layout dot space. I'm going to add something like 75 pixels. And we'll run this again. And host. There we go. Now it's down here. That's like a lot of pixels. So let's make it something like 15 maybe. Whoa. Let's not press hotkeys we're not used to. 
So play and host. Yeah, that looks good. What a guess. Okay, so now we're chatting and it's going over the network, presumably. So, of course, scientific method, we, we should probably uh, test it out to make sure. So let's do new scenes chat test drop that in I'm gonna build and run I'm gonna to run to the exe so builds windows demo I'm just gonna overwrite my old demo <coughs> so let's do windowed it's a large window we only need like a small window there we go so I'm going to uh, did I put play in background on Yes, playing backgrounds on. Good. That's important to network games, especially when testing. You don't want your network to freeze whenever your <laughs> your playing background is off. So I'm going to uh, host over here. Uh, firewall access, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go ahead and have access. I'm going to play over here and connect over here. So I have my connections. One, I'm going to type in, hello, send. Hey, send. See? Hello's over the network. Why, hello there. Send that over the network. So there it is. So uh, now we're showing our messages. And of course, if your chat box is on the bottom and you're showing your messages on the top, let's uh, go ahead and make that scenario for those of you who do it that way. I know lots of games do it that way where the chat is like in the bottom left, uh, not in the top left. Uh, so top left is like FPS games, bottom left is like RPGs. So we just did this FPS way. Um, but uh, let's look at how we can uh, do it so that we have our chat system down at the uh, our our chats at the uh, bottom. So I can uh, do my elements separately. I'm going to do my uh, GUI layout dot. This is in a UI tutorial, so it's going to look very ugly. Uh, GUI, no, not layout, just GUI dot uh, begin. Well, we don't need to begin a group because we're doing GUI. It's just floating. We will make a text field, and it's going to be the same as this chat message thing here. And in the normal GUI, we have to specify a rectangle, so new rect and uh, this creates a new rect every time, so that's no bueno. You probably want to have it up here. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, we're just trying to make it work. So the X position is actually going to be on the zero. The Y is going to be the screen height minus some arbitrary number that I'm going to say is uh, 20. And then we need a width. My width I'm going to make B, 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 B. Let's do 200 and uh, or maybe 175 and make our height 20 okay that should be our text box I'm just going to go back and check it make sure it's down here on the bottom so host yep there it is and now we need the send button next to it so let's do a uh, if GUI layout dot button uh, send I actually turn these into a function. Oh, what is this Python? Need my parentheses here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make the button. I'm gonna say uh, GUI dot. Oh wait, GUI layout. What am I doing? GUI dot button send, and it's gonna have a rectangle. So new rect, and it's going to be at mm, 200. Uh, then it's gonna be at the screen dot height minus 20. Uh, its width is going to be 75 and its height is going to be 20. Okay. So if that, then we're going to send the message. So I'm going to make a couple functions real quick. I'm going to make a private void uh, bottom is what I'll call this one. Uh, drop this guy in the bottom. And then uh, I'm going to have one called top private void top so then I'm gonna drag this guy and the for each loop for the chat at the top okay 
and I'm going to actually take this portion of the button out and call it send so private void send message pop it in there and then I'm just gonna say send message if the buttons clicked on the bottom or if the button is clicked on the top okay probably should have our bracket there so now we can say hey I wanna draw the uh, bottom one so I'm gonna just call the bottom function in my on GUI cool so now if we click the send button it'll send it but we're not uh, doing our loop for displaying it so I'm going to make a I'm gonna display them uh, rather than wasting more time dropping windows and trying to figure out where they are I'm just gonna display it at the top like this other one in a GUI layout and then I'm just gonna show the messages in reverse so for and i is equal to zero i is less than chat oh, sorry let's do i is equal to chat history dot count i is greater than or equal to zero and this is gonna be count minus one by the way i minus minus and we're just gonna list out our chat so uh, GUI layout dot label uh, chat history I so now that we're doing the bottom one the stuff is gonna render at the top but you can move the box down or whatever so play oh let me put my GUI space before that oh I did oh wow well, okay so I'm gonna host here and I type in hello and then send how are you and send so now the messages go from top to bottom I'm good bro brah send so now we have our chat messages going over the network again I will build and run just to prove sanity and we're good We'll host over here, and we will play over here. And over here, I'm gonna. Oh, let's connect. And over here, I'm gonna say, "Well, what's happening, yo?" Send. Did I get it? No, not much. Meng. Send. So you see that now our messages are going over the network. So uh, you can make your UI pretty, you can reverse everything, and uh, yeah, so hope you liked it, uh, and, and uh, happy chatting, my friends.